So even if you watch one self-improvement video in your whole entire life, you would understand that meditation is basically one of the things that is mostly talked about in this niche and in this kind of lifestyle. And you might ask yourself, why is this? Well, it's actually fairly simple and fairly straightforward. If we get better at meditation, we'll get better in every single other part of our life and every single other habit that we do. It's really simple. If you actually want to grow your biceps, you firstly need to become aware that you have a small biceps. When we understand this, we can understand that basically meditation provides us this awareness for every single little mistake, every single little insecurity, every single part of our brain that we can actually develop and improve on. But why should we meditate? If this isn't enough, basically proof that we should, let me go a little bit deeper. Now a person that usually starts habits really, really easily and it's for me not a big problem to just start doing a habit, but meditation is one that took me about a month to start it. I couldn't get myself to do it. It was the sense of, I don't know, I just didn't want to do it. Why is this? Well, my friend, meditation is going to reveal all of your demons. It's going to reveal this whole another part of your brain, this whole another part of your personality that you never knew it was there. It's going to reveal the sense of dark side to you. A lot of things that you never wanted to understand about yourself, you will now understand. All of your insecurities, all of your mistakes, all of your regrets, all of the bad parts, the toxic traits that you have, you're going to become so much more aware of this. You're going to understand that you're not good, as good as you think. It's going to make you aware of them. And this can be scary. It can be frightening. But it's peaceful. Because in a couple of weeks, you're going to see that you will not need any music while you work. You will not need all of these people around you constantly. You'll be okay with being alone. You'll be able to just sit down and enjoy a nice breakfast without any YouTube, without any podcast, without any entertainment, you will be fine with that. You will understand that you yourself are your best friend and your worst enemy. And a lot of people just don't want that. They don't want to sacrifice a little bit of comfort and a little bit of understanding about who they are for all of these benefits. All of them. They don't want to sacrifice 10 or 15 days of literally just 5 to 10 minutes out of their day spent literally focusing on their breath. They don't want to do this. But if you do, if you actually want to start meditating, in a couple of weeks, you're literally going to be able to sit in front of a mirror, look at yourself in the eyes, and tell yourself that yes, you might not be perfect, but that you can improve. And for the first time in your life, that will feel right. That will feel like you need to do it. It will ignite a fire that will not go off until you achieve what you want. Now, a really simple question can now come up. How can we actually meditate? Well, this is probably the most simple one. Once we actually get ourselves to do it, it's really easy. What I recommend you to do is to not jump to 10 minutes immediately. Go firstly with three minutes. Eventually in a couple of weeks, go to five and then go to 10. But application that I would highly recommend you use is called Merido. I have been using it for my whole journey for this whole 200 days and it's absolutely amazing. You have like a full beginner's guide, you have a couple of courses, basically literally like courses for meditation. How to actually follow your breath, how to do this, how to do that. And the best thing is that you literally just don't have to follow your breath. I found that actually to be one of the hardest meditations to do. A lot of people find it actually really easy but breath work and like breath 
meditation is one of the hardest ones for me to do. My favorite one by far is a body scan meditation. So I would highly recommend you do it, maybe even like within a week of you actually starting meditation. Now this is really, really exciting and you shouldn't see it as a hassle, yet you should see it as a habit that can change your personality, but it's also going to become really fun and you're going to literally look forward to it once you wake up. Now when should we meditate? Should we meditate in the morning, in the day or at night? There's actually meditations for sleep that ha I have been using lately because I kind of started meditating at night to get me to bed a little bit easier and if you have problems with actually falling asleep, they are absolutely amazing. But also, if you meditate in the morning, you will literally become a lot more aware of all of your procrastination during the day. So if you struggle with falling asleep, go for those night meditations. And if you struggle with procrastination and would not be able to get any work done, you maybe feel unproductive, go and meditate in the morning. That's what I recommend and that's what I actually found really, really useful and it's actually really personal and depends on kind of what are your goals and what you actually want to get the most out of meditation. Now that was pretty much it for this video. If you guys found value and if you guys enjoyed it, I would highly, highly appreciate you click the like button and also the subscribe button. We're on the road to hit a thousand subscribers, so if you can do that, I would highly, highly appreciate you. That was pretty much it for this one. If you want to watch some of my other content, you can click and watch one of my last videos right here. It's an absolute amazing video. I can highly recommend it. Have a nice rest of your day, my friends. And as I always say, pay the reason, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.